Sometimes you've got to improvise and you've got to laugh or <laughs> you'll cry. Well, we've got a little bowl of water here. Nice little bucket. Oh, <laughs> a little obligatory drop. Just, uh... <laughs> this is my life right now. Thank God the roofette is coming on Friday. That's all I can say because this is just not an ideal way to start your day. But are we letting it bother us? No. <laughs> my God, I have to just say, this Tony, who is she? <laughs> who even is she? This morning I was like, I come down about five to five and I was like, what's that noise? And I had to hear, and I was like, I'm not going out there. I'll have to wait until he gets up and then I filled the kettle, put the kettle on and then I heard, and I was like, what is it? <laughs> so I was literally like that, opening the door to go out because I'm terrified. I am petrified. There is a lot of greenery around. And the idea of anything that could get in the house scares the living daylight out of me. But I was brave. I went into the utility and there was a nice little pool of water <laughs> on top of the bin lid. A nice little pool of water on the floor because we've had heavy rain through the night. The roof has decided that today, oh, did you hear that? Today is the day that it's going to just give in. <laughs> it's not holding up anymore. And you know what? There must have, well, we know there was issues out there. I've had a survey done on it and he said it had been patched up galore. But I just, I couldn't do that when I was selling the house. I just, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But... We're not letting it trouble us. We're not letting it bother us. And even when Lee got up and he seen it, he went, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just looking at it like it was artwork. I was like, how, I just love, I love this house so much. I embrace every little flaw that it's got. And it's made me a lot more relaxed, a lot more chilled out. Like nothing's perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. Show me something that is perfect, apart from flowers when they bloom. That's about it. So I'm like, I don't care. Roof is coming on Friday to sort it all out. We'll be getting the new roof done and I can't wait for that. And today I've got something exciting going on. Annette's coming. We're going to go and pick some new paint up, have a little mooch around the DIY shop. We'll probably end up in B&M and I'm going to bring you along with me. So that's our day. We're not worrying about you know, leaking roofs or anything that is not perfect, we don't care. We all got to go shopping and just forget about it. <laughs> that is really lovely, that isn't it? How pretty is that? Six ninety nine. waiting for some um, table service in the range. And <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Wait, <Waitra. laughs> Let's go to the balcony set. 3.29. But isn't that comfy? It's lovely. I mean, the table's a little bit rickety, but... No, that's the floor. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Last five minutes on my floor, then. No, that's definitely the floor. It's nice, isn't it? All the garden stuff's all out. All looking lovely. I'd love a gazebo like this. The back of the garden. No, this is what my mum's having. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. He hasn't set it up yet. Like. Has he not? No, not yet. Yeah. He's getting set up. Yeah. No, absolutely. Really? I really like that. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And the chairs are really, really comfy. Yeah. That's it in case anybody wants to have a little look. Oh, did you have a full range? The only thing is the service is a bit slow. <laughs> Very slow. <laughs> That's like something you'd see in Spain or something, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Is it like proper solid wood? No, it's metal. It's metal to look like wood, but that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like the down. Yeah, it's lovely that. One of those mornings where I'm like, I can't tell you how much joy this brings me, but I have a wren nesting in a little bear box at the back of the garden in one of the trees. There's a small little bear box attached to the tree. 
and I've got a wren nesting in there and I can't tell you how much joy it brings me. I am, can you hear it? It'll stop singing now. Yeah. Oh, I am thrilled to bits that they've chosen my garden to nest in. I'm like, I've never had this before. I've never had a garden full of greenery and, you know, attracted lots of wildlife into the garden and I am thrilled to bits. I have squirrels and all of the lovely things, but something amazing is happening today. I'm going to fit my rotary washing line into the concrete. So our John called me a few days ago and he said, you not sorted that washing line out yet? I said, John? And he said, why didn't you ring me? Like he gets dead on when I don't ring, but I was like, I feel like I persecute you, you know, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you help me with this? He said, don't ever feel like that. He says, I love helping you. You're my little sister. I love helping you. He said, I had to laugh. He said, because you've bought a, a huge bucket, which I think was like 35 litres, maybe. He says, when that's filled with concrete or stones, he went, you're not going to be able to move that anywhere. And I thought, you know what? Good point. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to move it. He said, and the second you put that on wheels, the wheels will probably just collapse. He said, it can go into the floor. He told me the little drill bit that we needed, which was a core drill bit. I've ordered one of those on Amazon and it came yesterday it's in the box. I have no idea how to use this, but with our John's assistance, I'm sure within a couple of hours, I'll have a nice new rotary washing line to be able to hang my washing out to get it dry. And I'm so excited about it. I genuinely can't wait. Here is fine. Right, so when this is and you're not, you're not worried about it being so close to, no, to this? No, because it's a spinning one anyway, so yeah, I can stand here and just keep turning. Yeah. Just keep turning it and it up. Go too close to any of no, the edges. No, I'll come to about here. Only with the flag being so thin. thin. of a new rotary washing line and I am thrilled to bits with it. It may have looked very easy during this video. A couple of seconds drilling into the ground. No, it was hard. It was that hard and my elbow's been sore because I've been doing a little bedroom makeover as well. And I just haven't given my elbow enough time to rest. So holding that big drill was difficult. Oh, I can see two magpies around a nest in the garden. Oh. Wait one sec. I just don't like the idea of the magpies robbing any birds' eggs out of nests. I know it's nature and everything else, but I just clap my hands a couple of times to shoo them on because no, leave them alone. But what was I saying? Oh, was I saying about how hard it was and my elbow being sore? John did help me but it took us around 15 minutes for the drill bit to go through the concrete but I now I'm so excited to put a wash in the washing machine and be able to get it on the line and dry. The roof has just left, he's been, so oh, I can't tell you. I know when you feel like everything's just coming together, well everything is coming together in perfect time for a nice relaxing weekend. It is the perfect day for putting a wash on the washing line and hopefully getting it dry. 
it's all lit. I've just put a wash in the washing machine. I'm so excited, the sun's shining. I'm like, I want to open all the doors. I've got all the windows open, blowing the cobwebs off in preparation for a spring clean with me video. I can't wait, I can't wait to clean all the skating boards and all the picture rails because they're dusty. I'm in the process of decorating the bedroom. And oh my God, the dust is <laughs> everywhere. Ollie's just come in, so I was just saying hello to him. But yeah, I tackled the bedroom and I can't wait to share it. I've done like little mini clips rather than a full in-depth detail bedroom makeover. I've just took little clips of what it looked like before, the process and where it's up to now. And I'm like, there's a little bit of me that is excited to change the floor and we've ordered the new doors for upstairs. The doors will be exactly the same as what we've got downstairs because the Jonah's gonna swap over the bedroom door. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> the Jonah's gonna swap over the bedroom door off our bedroom and put it onto the dining room so it opens into the room rather than, sorry, so it opens into the wall rather than into the room. So we're gonna go with the same doors upstairs as what we've got downstairs. And then we will do the floor and, and I can't wait for that. That's where, the bedroom will really come into its own when the grey carpet's gone because it was very blue and cream well it was very blue and then when we took the wallpaper off that wall it was very cream so and the carpet's like a light grey but there are quite a few stains in the carpet and i think when we take that up the bedroom's just gonna look so nice i'm so excited to share it with you and i have to say the paint oh, the paint is gorgeous it's so nice I'm going to change the light fitting, so I'm now on the hunt for a nice gold bedroom light fitting. I found a couple, but I'm like, they blow the budget a little bit. And sometimes you've got to be a little bit sensible, haven't you, and say, well, I don't want to blow the budget on that. Because what it cost me for a light fitting, I could buy a new headboard, because the headboard's grey. And it just doesn't flow in the room anymore. It looks so nice, and I'm so happy with it. But I feel busy doing that. And the amount of dust on the picture rails and the skating boards because they needed to be cleaned before I painted them. There was a lot. I don't know whether it's because we've got carpet up there, so I think where there's carpet, it creates a lot more dust. I don't know, but I'm looking forward anyway to doing a nice deep spring clean with you all. I'm waiting for the washing machine to finish so I can put a nice wash on the washing line. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So excited about hanging my washing on the washing line. It's the small things in life, isn't it? I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I've got spring clean with me, there's a bedroom makeover coming. I've also got something else, but I can't think what it is. <laughs> My mind's gone blank. Well, I'll see you all in the next one.